A Black Comic Story Written by E.G. Hebrews Linda the Cowgirl and Wild Wild West Written by E.G. Hebrews Long ago, in an amazing place out west, was a small community named Yorkstown. This was a place where kids from all over the world would come to find the greatest toys that were ever made. Inside this wonderful little town was the sheriff, and her name was Linda the Cowgirl. She was a sweet little girl, and was tougher than the leather boots on your feet. Linda was well respected by all the other kids in Yorkstown. She made time to play with them, and even fixed their toys if they were broken. Linda also ran off any kids trying to steal the special toys buried inside of Yorkstown. Then one day, a group of kids appeared riding on their little ponies, looking for the toys hidden in Yorkstown. One of the kids' names was Willie a.k.a. Tombstone, the fastest toy taker in the whole Wild West. Four of his friends were with him, Doc Saturday, Billy Buffalo, Punch Cassidy, and Luke Wyatt. Now, they were the meanest kids of them all, and they wanted the toys of Yorkstown all to themselves. Riding down the road on their little ponies, all the kids living in Yorkstown watch as the bandits passed by them. They stopped at a local milk shop to get a drink, and they waited at the countertop for the service. What does a kid have to do to get a drink around here? A kid comes from the back named Tiny, but he is the size of an adult. What are you having? Chocolate or white? Give me the chocolate! Everyone at the milk shop falls out of their chairs. One of the kids runs out of the milk shop all the way to find the sheriff. Ten minutes after finding Sheriff Linda the cowgirl, she arrives at the milk shop and walks inside. The other kids would tell her that a kid ordered chocolate milk. She looked at the kids and then said, I know. Then she slowly walked toward the countertop. The chocolate milk is only for teenagers of Yorkstown. Now I have to take you in for a time out. Then, Punch Cassidy gets up from drinking his milk and leaves a piece of candy for the tip. Who's going to put me in time out? The name is Linda, the cowgirl, and we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Everyone inside the milk shop would stare with complete silence and curiosity. Tell you what, I don't want to hurt a little girl, so I have a deal for you. If you can drink more glasses of chocolate milk than me, my friends and I will leave Yorkstown with no problem. But if I win, me and my guys can dig up all the special toys we want. Do we have a deal, Sheriff? Deal. The children in Yorkstown all gather at the milk shop to watch Linda go face to face with Punch Cassidy. They had four glasses of milk on the table, but before they started, Linda asked Tiny for an extra glass of milk. She would drink the milk down fast, slam it on the table, and tell Punch Cassidy, Now we're even. One milk apiece. Tiny sets the timer at two minutes. He looks at Linda. Are you ready? Then he looks at Punch Cassidy. Are you ready? They both nodded their heads. Then Tiny said to start the clock, and both Linda and Punch Cassidy began drinking glass after glass of chocolate milk. All the kids would cheer for Linda, but it started to look like she was going to lose. There were 20 seconds left in the race, and Punch Cassidy had drank too much milk. His stomach couldn't handle it, so he started throwing up everywhere. And all the kids yelled, Yucky! This made Linda, the cowgirl, the winner. 
and she was able to protect the toys of Yorkstown from Punch Cassidy and his very bad friends. The end. <laughs>